Welcome to When Nerds Learn to Fly. In an effort to find some place to eat, we ran across this little place in between the Bilin Museum and the South Gate, and we weren't quite sure what it was. I think we ended up back in Tibet. <laughs> Check out the place. This is great. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so good. We did not expect the portions to be this big. We've got another plate coming after this one. And we've already been digging into this one for a while. So it seems to have four different types of peppers, some dried chilies, and then these prawns. Prawn, pretty good sized prawn shrimp. And then there's some type of uh, fried cracker, almost a fried pasta cracker. It's spicy. A couple of those peppers are really hot, but mm. it's delicious. This one is, uh, I believe it's beef. Might be yak. Possibly, possibly yak. It's not dark enough really to be yak, but pretty good. These, uh, I don't know what those are. Hmm. I thought they were noodles, but yeah. they're a little tougher. A little tougher than noodles, kind of um, mushroomy, gummy mushroomy mm -hmm. kind of. This doesn't have as much heat. No. Three, four different types of peppers. Watch out for the orange ones. The orange ones are really hot. Oh yeah. Mm, very good though. Tasty stuff. I'm pleased with our decision. Yes. This is a lot of food. It is. And it's not noodles. And it's not noodles. It's Tibetan, yeah. but it's not noodles. Good job. Good ching, job. Ching, ching, ching. So to find our little restaurant, we came straight out of Beilin Museum, came down to the main road, crossed over, and made a left. Um, just a little ways down on your right, you'll find the cute little Tibetan restaurant that we ate at. I highly recommend it. Look for the yak and the dog out front. It'll help you identify the restaurant. Always an adventure. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> 